Being an Olympian is earned and it's never given. And that recognition comes with a lot of the hard work. And hard work equals success. When I met Andrew Vu back in 09, he was actually getting ready, actually 08, he was actually getting ready to compete at the Ronnie. And uh, here I was telling him, yeah, I already competed and this and that. I never stepped on stage. Yeah, you know, I, and, and that's how we kind of found each other. In 09, he put me at, um, on stage at the Ronnie, um, and, I, and I fell in love with the sport. Uh, granted, I won first place as a Bantamweight bodybuilder, and um, uh, that's what pushed me towards the sport. that I step foot to, I am the underdog. I have nothing to lose. Um, and to give it all, that's what I want people to recognize, that that's what I did. Watching these big bad boys get on stage, their train mentality, that's what fuels me. Train like Kai Green, mentality like my boy Branch Warren. You just gotta move the weight. It ain't gonna move for you. And now Kevin Lebroni is coming back. That's hard. So what drives me? I take pieces from each one of these these uh, ambassadors in the sport, these legends in the sport, and I make it my own. That's what moves me. What about Freddie is uh, it doesn't matter how hard I push his diet or his cardio, he doesn't ever complain. He just does it. Like I'll, I'll tell him like a critique that I have for him. I'm very harsh with my clients, so whatever I say to him, he doesn't take it to heart. He knows he knows whatever I say is gonna benefit him and he just pushes harder. Chance with better bodies. Here at Destination Dallas, my man Greg. Oh, he's gonna be awesome at the Olympia. He got a great look, super clean lines, um, great structure. So, if you're a fan of bodybuilding, you like a physique like Freddie, it's a cool look. <laughs> 